So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to both waterproof your GoPro when you've exposed the side plate or remove that side plate, and also how to make your GoPro run all day and to be able to capture video all day on your GoPro. Stay tuned, it's coming up. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing, gear reviews, tournament footage. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Today's video is about waterproofing the side plate, or at least making it water resistant, making it hard for water to get in there, and how to run your GoPro all day and capture your footage from, from all day. All right, so let's just jump right into this video. Uh, don't wanna waste too much of your time. What you're gonna need to purchase to kind of waterproof this side plate once you've exposed because with the GoPro 7s, 6s, and 5s, I'm actually using a GoPro 5 right here as my GoPro model. In order to make this happen, in order to be able to record your fishing videos all day, because what you want is this sitting there and it being always on while you're, cap while you're catching fish and while you go, you know, two, three, four hours without catching anything and then automatically you catch something, you don't want four or five hours of video uh, to have to weed through in your editing process. So, you know, you want to be able to turn, have that on. You want that cast to catch action on your GoPro. And this is how you can achieve that. First of all, you need to remove the side plate over here and get the combo cord. This combo cord is going to allow you to pipe in a USB-C and also pipe in audio. But in order to waterproof this side, once it's exposed because you know we're fishing it's in all different kinds of situations whether it be rain sleet snow just misty mornings just foggy mornings there's always condensation in the air and if you don't protect this side plate you're going to get condensation in there and ruin your gopro i've actually been running this gopro in this configuration for two years on my channel so you know this has been a tried and tested and true i've actually dunked this thing in the water and pulled it back out and again it still works because i'm taking these precautionary steps but what i have in here is just a man's wax it's a it's a earwax that you put in your ear it's very inexpensive i'll put a link down in the description below so that you can find this product on amazon so a very cheap and inexpensive way to re-waterproof your gopro once you've exposed this side plate now i'm not advocating that you stick this under the water for several hours um, I'm just saying that this is going to help you protect your GoPro against moisture once you've exposed the side plate. The other part about running your GoPro all day every day is that, you know, in order to power your GoPro, you're going to need to pipe in an external power source. Now, what I've used uh, pretty successfully over the years ha have been just USB battery banks. I use a smaller one in the 10,000 milliamp hours for my GoPro on my chest. And I, again, I've got basically the same setup here. It just runs to a lapel mic and I've still got the USB uh, adapter here to run from, from here to there. So, you know, what, again, what you'll need to make this work is a, is a battery bank with a USB, maybe even a USB-C. Actually, this one over here that I use, I actually pair these two together pretty much all the time. And it's got multi multiple ports that, that are out ports in a sense. It's got a uh, USB-C port that's out and it's got multiple USB ports that go out, but they go into a USB-C. So um, also maybe get, you know, maybe a 10 foot cord or something like that, or a, a six foot cord uh, to, to run from this battery bank all the way into this. But this, once you do this and you enable looping, that's a whole nother video, but and looping just records constantly throughout the whole day you could you could fish for eight hours and then press the the red record button up there and it would only record like the last five minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes or something like that you know that's how you can can record all day so look up the looping function if you want to be able to record all day but that is how to kind of set up your gopro in a configuration that will both help it stay waterproof and water resistant and help keep moisture out and also be able to power it all day, not have to change out batteries frequently. And that will help ensure that you never miss that full cast to catch action 
on your YouTube channel. So guys, any comments or questions, drop them down below. You know, these things are, you know, this one's a 30,000 milliamp hours. Uh, again, the one I use on my person went for my chesty in the same setup is a 10,000. And I did that because of size. You know, you don't want some big heavy battery bank holding up, hanging off of your uh, pants pockets or, or weighting you down uh, throughout the day of fishing. Um, but you know, getting a larger battery bank, I, I would actually recommend for your rear camera because you can charge your phone, you can charge your Bluetooth speaker, you can charge a lot of other things off of this and it'll probably just come in handy around the house too as well. So guys, so guys thanks for watching this video. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.